Okay, so consider the following situation. Suppose we have a group of 20 people. And suppose that our group consists of 6 men and 14 women. Suppose it's a group of co-workers, so they are, as I've just said, 20 people in total. And suppose for whatever reason that a committee of five people must be formed, and to be fair, the members of the committee will be randomly selected. So we select five people at random. And we will ask different probabilities, we will ask to compute different probabilities given this setup. So a group of 20 workers, 6 men, 14 women, a committee is to be formed, and to be fair, the committee is formed at random, and it is a committee of 5 people, so the 5 people are selected at random. Just to get a feeling for why this is not a uh, trivial counting problem, let's ask quite simply, how many possible committees can be formed? So the total number of possible committees Well, what is the setup? Right? Every time you have a counting problem, you should always ask yourself the following two questions. Is the setup ordered or unordered? And it is, is it with, with, with or without replacement? Well, clearly here, we're forming a committee of five people. So we don't care about the order of the selection. We just want to know who are the five people on the committee. So it is unordered. unordered and question two is it with or without replacement well it's clearly without replacement you can't have one person serving as two people on the committee so it is of course without replacement Unordered selection without replacement. This is setup number three. Which means that we will count the total number of possibilities using NCR combinations. The total number of possible ways of choosing R elements from a set of N elements if the selection is unordered and without replacement this being the given setup. So, the number of possible committees will be n. Well, n is the total number of possible things we can choose from. Here there are 20 people in total. So it's 20. Choose. Well, how many people are we choosing? We are choosing 5. And if you compute 20 choose 5 with your calculator, you will find that there are a total of 15,504 possible committees. So there's a lot of different possibilities for our committee of five people. So clearly we'll have to use some uh, clever counting techniques. We can't just brute force count the given probabilities as there are way too many possible committees that can be formed this way. So let's start with our questions. So A, what is the probability of having a committee with the same number of men and women? Well, if you think of it, as we have a committee of five people and five is odd, it is impossible to have the same number of men and women. If an event is impossible, its probability is zero. So very easy first probability. B, let's ask what is the probability 
that our committee contains exactly two men. Well, if you think of it, sorry about that, there was a bit of a bug. Okay, so again, we are selecting five people at random. And because of this random selection, then every person has an equal probability of being selected. So we can use here the equi probability theorem. So we will count the size of our event over the total number of possible outcomes, but we already know this. There are 20 choose 5 possible committees that can be formed this way. So 20 choose 5. And if you think of it, exactly two men means that you must choose exactly two men. So out of the six men available, we are choosing two. But that's not it. It's not just six choose two over 20 choose five. Because if all you have is six choose two, you have an incomplete committee. We are forming a committee of five people. We've only selected two. We're missing three. As we are seeing exactly two men, this means that out of the six available men, we choose two and, therefore, times out of the 14 available women, we must choose the remaining three people. Two plus three is five. Now we're good to go. Two men means two men and three women. So the numerator is the total number of possible committees with exactly two men over the total number of possible committees will give you the probability of obtaining a committee with exactly two men. And if you calculate this with your calculator, you'll find an approximate value of 0 0.352. So by forming a committee at random, the probability of the committee having exactly two men is approximately 35%. What if we ask now, what is the probability of forming a committee with, say, exactly four women? Well, once again, we can use the equi probability theorem. So we divide by the total sample size, the total number of possible committees, 20 choose 5. And we are saying that we want exactly four women. So out of the 14 available women, we choose the four. But once again, we have an incomplete selection. We only have selected four people. We need five people to form a committee. So exactly four women means exactly four women. Therefore, we choose four women and times we must choose one man. So out of the six available men, we must choose one. The total number of committees with exactly four women over total number of possible committees will give us the probability. And this will be approximately 0 0.387. So roughly 39% probability of obtaining exactly four women. D. What if we ask for the probability of a committee with an even number of men? Well, if you think of it, think of all possibilities. We are forming a committee of five people, so there could be zero men, or one, or two, or three, or four, or five. The event an even number of men means either zero men 
or 2 or 4. I've just said 4, uh, not 4, but or. So 0 or 2 or 4. When we're saying or, of course, it means adding. We have a partition of our event into three sub-events. Exactly 0 men, or exactly 2 men, or exactly 4. So we'll need to add here. So look at the size of our event. How many committees can be formed with exactly zero men? Well, this means out of the six available men, we choose zero. But again, we are forming a committee of five people. So now we have an incomplete committee. We've selected zero men, and therefore, out of the 14 women, we must choose the remaining five people. So total number of committees with zero men, five women. Or there are exactly two men or plus so out of the six available men we choose exactly two but once again we have an incomplete selection exactly two men means that we choose exactly three women so we choose two men and out of the 14 women we choose three or there could be exactly four men. So out of the six available men, we choose four. And of course, we must choose the remaining one person being a woman. So and out of the 14 available women, we choose one. So the total number of possible committees that can be formed with an even number of men is this number. Number of committees with zero men, check, plus Number of committees with two men, check, plus number of committees with four men, check. And of course, this will be divided by the total number of possible committees, 20, choose 5. And if you compute this with your calculator, you will find an approximate answer of 0 0.495. And if you see here, this was quite a bit of work, but it was useless to think of the complement rule. Because if you look at the complement rule, well, that's three different events. And the original event was three different events as well. So the complement rule here would not have given us a slicker solution. Well, let's make our event a little worse. And by worse, I mean more complicated. What if we ask for the probability of a committee containing at least one woman? Well, now again, we'll consider all possibilities. So either our committee has zero women, or one, or two, or three, or four, or five. At least one means either exactly one, or exactly two, or exactly three, or exactly four, or exactly five. If we call our event E, this is E. So we can, of course, break down E into five sub-events. So now instead of adding up three of those, we'd have to add five of those. Way too much work, because the complement is remarkably simple. The opposite of at least one woman is no women. So now here we'll use the complement rule, which will give us a really slick solution. So P of E is 1 minus P of E complement. Well, let's see. 1 minus. As we have just said, the event now is 0 women. So, out of the 14 available women, we choose 0. And, therefore, out of the 6 available men, we choose 5. So total number of committees with zero women and five men, of course we must divide by the total number of possible committees, 20, whoops, 20 choose 5. So if you compute this and then do 1 minus this, you will arrive at approximately 0 
9999613. So the odds of a committee with at least one woman are extremely high. And that's it. So always keep this in mind. Whenever the event that you have requires a lot of work to tackle directly, always fall back on the complement. When, of course, it is possible, giving a complement with less work. As in D, the complement was giving you the same amount of work, so there's no advantage here to use the complement rule. But in E, there's a huge advantage from using the complement rule.